Okay, here we have three different styles of origami glasses. The first one is your traditional all-lens origami glasses. Very cool. The second one, I added a frame on to it just to give it a different look. Looks really cool. Also like this one. Very cool. And then third, I noticed we didn't have any glasses for the ladies, so I made some female glasses. I modeled these after the oversized glasses that are so popular right now, so here they are. Now we have a him and her pair of glasses. Alright, so we're going to make the traditional origami sunglasses. This is a pretty simple model to make, but I will still go slow enough and try to be very clear in my step-by-step -step explanation. Here we go. I'm starting off with American uh, letter printer paper. And our first fold is going to be corner to corner. So I'm going to take this corner down here and I'm going to line it up with this corner and then crease across. So lining that up, put a finger on that, draw back, then I will crease all the way across. What's nice is you don't have to be super critical with this model it'll still work. Alright, for our second fold what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole section here, so this line, and I'm going to line it up with this line here. Let's take this, line that up there, and I will crease that back. Then I'm going to open this up all the way. Now you're going to notice we have the, these are valley folds, that's a valley fold, but we have one mountain fold. And what we need to do is we need to reverse that. So we're going to take the valley side, and then we're going to just trace that all the way back. That should make them all valley folds. Alright, so at this point what we're going to do is I'm going to take this back edge here, and then we're going to fold it right up against here, just before this paper keeping this crease lined up. So right there, crease is lined up with the crease, right where the papers come together. I'm going to pull back, and I'm going to crease that down. Then I'm going to take this, this back side here, and I'm going to fold it up against this crease we just made here, or the, the edge of this paper here, but I'm going to be a little bit back, so I'm not going to be right on top of it. And I'm only going to be back just a little bit. Okay. And then we are going to fold this again. So I'm going to take this back side here, and I'm going to fold this right up here just back a little bit. The reason we're going just back is because the paper actually folds forward, or it pushes the lower sheet out as we fold this down. Okay, so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to take these tips here and then we're going to fold them back a little bit. Now this you can adjust to taste, so if you want really narrow ones you can fold all the way back, or for our traditional ones we're just going to give it a little fold down here. Now, to build these sides, what we're going to do is right about here where the paper comes together, I'm going to use my finger to hold that down, lift this up, and I'm going to line up the top part of the sheet here and press that down. Lift that. I'm going to do the same to this side. My finger there, lift this. I'm going to line up that top edge and then I will press this down. Open that up, we turn that forward, there we have our traditional origami sunglasses. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you've liked it, if this has helped you. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next tutorial.